Today I'd like to do a product review on a backpacking stove made by D-Power. This is a very affordable stove costing anywhere between $17 and $20. And as you can see, it's collapsible, folds up, and you have uh, the line going out like that. It goes around one foot or so. So it folds out like this. Uh, with a lot of backpacking stoves, they get a little pricey. For example, the Pocket Rocket's around $30. Uh, with Snow Peak, that's around $45 for the Gigapower stove. Uh, the Jet Boil's around the $90 range or so. And it could go up from there, whether you're talking about MSR uh, reactor or the whisper light stoves. Those are north of $100. This one's very affordable uh, for those that are on more of a budget at around the $17 to $20 range. I've been testing this for the past several months now and it's been doing fairly well in my testing. A lot of the more inexpensive stoves that you see online, for example on Amazon, you can get some that are even $7 to $10, but I found that those, the manufacturing on those are, is pretty flimsy and, and weak. Uh, this one so far during my testing has been uh, not having any of those kind of characteristics, so it's time to do a product review on it. Let's take a closer look now at the D-Power stove. As you can see, the D-Power stove has three legs on it and three arms. These are collapsible, as you can see, and as you can see, it also has a very low center of gravity. Uh, some of the other stoves, for example, the Pocket Rocket, they sit fairly high, so uh, it kind of makes the pot prone to tipping. And then you have the butane fuel at a safe distance away from that flame, so you can put that way off to around one foot distance away from the actual flame. So it has a, a embedded striker with it that you could actually use for it, which has been working fairly well for me. Uh, a lot of the times I find that I have to replace those or they just stop working after a certain point. Uh, this one has not failed yet over maybe around eight months worth of testing. So let's take a close look at the design aspects of this particular stove. All right, let's take a closer look now at the manufacturing of this stove. So with a lot of the cheaper stoves, you'll find that the arms on it uh, kind of sink down after a while, uh, but this one has a nice uh, metal stopper in there, so it's not really gonna do that unless uh, this becomes very loose, and during my testing, it hasn't become loose. So there's not a lot of wiggle room or anything like that. So basically when it's collapsed, it's gonna be like that, and then you're gonna fold it down and it's gonna hit that metal stopper right there. So that, that's been working very nice in my testing. I've been kind of jamming away at it. And with the legs, the legs go inward like that. So as you can see, it has a little, almost like a, a not, notch or a button almost kind of there. So it's gonna uh, go in like that. And then to, when you wanna raise the legs, it's gonna hit the, the leg there. So again, this has a very low center of gravity. I haven't had a problem with tipping on that, which I do have with other of these uh, pocket size stoves. So to light the fuel, you're gonna just press this little button down here. See if we can get a little close up of it and actually see it. So there's a little spark that goes there. Here's a look at the threads that connect to the butane fuel canister. So I'm just gonna hook it up like that. <laughs> Using the Snow Peak fuel with the D-Power stove. And so to release the fuel, you're just gonna turn that. And I believe you turn it, let's see, uh, counterclockwise. All right, now let's light the stove. So we're just gonna open this up counterclockwise. See, you can hear the gas coming through. There it goes. As you can see, it's uh, handling the wind uh, okay. Uh, so let's uh, just put on the face on top of that. And let's boil up some water. All right, so I moved the fuel canister away from the flame. That's a nice perk of having that line go out like that. Uh, so you don't have any risk of that getting uh, too hot uh, while the stove is uh, burning. So again, we're timing that. So again, add 30 seconds to that because I started a little bit too late. Here's a closer look of the flame. As you can see, every once in a while, it's struggling with the wind. Like right there. All right, so there we have it, a rolling boil. It stopped right around uh, seven minutes and 30 seconds with the adjusted time, uh, which is a little bit long for boiling water, I think. I'd like to see it in you know less than five minutes if I could. But again, we're talking about a budget-friendly stove. Let's turn it off.
All right, just to briefly cover the pros and cons. So the best thing about this stove is by far the price on it. At between $17 and $20, it's very affordable, and yet it's still very functional, and it doesn't have a lot of the, the cheap characteristics that you get from some of the lower cost uh, stoves that you see on Amazon and other stores, uh, that, that $10 range or so. Those ones aren't gonna be as uh, as durable, especially in the arms, is where you're gonna see the, weakness, the weaknesses start to show with this. Uh, so far, the, the lighter has worked fairly well for me. I've been uh, using it uh, fairly consistently for several months now. I really like the, the low center of gravity on it when you have the pot on there, uh, which is a really nice plus. It's not as tippy, especially when you compare it with like the jet boil or something like that, which I find is to be very tippy. It doesn't have any kind of wind screening on it or anything like that. So uh, as you saw in the boil test, uh, that the wind uh, definitely affected that burn time on it. I think if there was no wind, it would have done it around five minutes or so. It does come with a nice little uh, storage case that you see here, you know, nothing too fancy, but it's just kind of nice to have. It's very compactable. I do get a little worried about uh, just having that that big kind of cord there on it, it losing you know because you kind of have to wrap it around it for storage and i just get worried about that just being bent over time uh, so far i haven't seen any kind of wear and tear that looks like it had affected it uh, too much at this point uh, but we'll see uh, time will tell on that so i think as long as the stove stays around that affordable range at 20 dollars or less i think this is a, a good budget-friendly option uh, that you could go with for uh, a backpacking stove uh, the, the thing when you're buying the more expensive brands what i'm paying for is like that the trust and faith the faith of it that it's going to work i highly trust some of those other brands uh msr is just uh, one for example i would trust that it would work at mount everest and so since a uh, deep powers you know it's, it hasn't been around and is established with some of those other ones uh, you're getting it at the uh, lower pr price price point so i guess uh, that's just one, one thing you kind of have to decide upon is uh if you want to use it in an extreme situation where you have to trust it with your life or if you're just kind of going camping like what i'm doing right now i think for camping general backpacking it would be a great stove to have if you want it for a survival situation or for extreme uh camping or backpacking uh, you might want to look for one that just has more of that established brand uh, just because so you know that it's going to work uh, whenever uh, it's called upon another little con with it is i just find that it kind of it kind of turns around a little bit here you can kind of adjust where you want to have that button located but i find that sometimes it just kind of makes it sometimes it'll get a little uh, tippy well not tippy as a stand uh, but you'll see that the burner is just kind of a little off kilter a little bit which i think might affect the uh the burn time <laughs> sorry for the the, the photo bomb by <laughs> by kid prepper there I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this product review of the D-Power stove. All in all, I think it's a fairly nice stove for the price range. At $20 or less, I think it's a great deal. It's uh, It performs better than the, the inexpensive stoves that you might see online. It has a better build quality. It might not be up to par to, with some of the more established brands, but for $20, it's, pretty, it's a great deal. I really like that it has a low center of gravity on it. <laughs> a little center of gravity on it so your pot's not going to be as prone to tipping as it might be with something like uh, the pocket rocket or even the jet boil. Comes in with a nice little storage case as well so just collapse it up and put it in your bug out bag. For example if you're making a budget friendly uh, bob uh, this would be a great option for it. Uh, during my testing it's been fairly reliable. Uh, it's not as best in the wind uh, but for you know $20 so, you know you're getting a pretty good steal on that. So please feel free to leave any kind of comments below in the comment section and again I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video featuring the D-Power Stove. See you guys.